What's up guys? This is Scott with KC Blade Drip. And you're at the right place. You selected this video, you hit play, you're listening to my voice, and I'm going to bring you visions of grandeur from SOG. A little piece of heaven, per se. We're going to jump into this bad boy. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you use Instagram. If you want to see some amateur knife photography. I don't ever proclaim to be a professional of the art or anything of those sorts. I'm, a com I'm an amateur. I am a beginner. I'm crawling in this knife game, this journey. I love exploring, telling you my opinions, my thoughts, my feelings. And because you care. And that's why I'm here, guys. The best subs in the world. Like and subscribe if you want to because I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it often. Home of 150% guarantee where over 100% of the time I'm going to be over 50% right. If that even came out right, I'm not quite sure. But every knife has a story. We're going to start the story on this one that's in front of me. I know when I did my previous video, it was more of a shout out. And I had held this knife and said, you know, tomorrow, being that that's today, Sunday, the 22nd of May, 2022, uh, that I was going to review and do a show and tell of the SOG pillar. So that is today. We're here, my friends. And we're going to get started. So, here we have this is a fixed blade. Now, I don't, I do have a handful, and as handful I mean probably between five and ten, maybe ish, fixed blades. Um, I don't buy or get into as many as I do with like folders. And that's because fixed blades for me, once I get something I like and use, I just, they're around forever. I don't really wear them out. And if I like a style and I get used to carrying something, I kind of just go with the flow. And so with this particular knife, the SOG Pillar. Ba -da -da. Couldn't wait for me to unsheathe that, could you? Now, I don't every day carry this EDC it. I don't have it in a rotation. This, for the last few years that I have had it, what I primarily do with this is I'll drop this into my rucksack or bag, maybe a pants pocket, and I'll go out uh, on bivouac camping, you know, around a campfire, processing foods, mm -hmm. doing small batoning for a fire, uh, meal prep, cutting my steak, just pretty much anything you could think that you would use a knife for. But it's more of my outdoors, heavy-duty, camping, I guess we could say, fixed-blade knife that I prefer to carry or have with me. So, are you talking over there, buddy? He's looking at things outside. Hopefully, he doesn't go ape shit, And then I have to contend with that little furry guy. Um, so... This particular knife, as I said, this is a fixed blade. Let's get some quick just measurements, give you an idea of what we're working with here. I know a lot of times things on camera can tend to look bigger than they really are. Wink, wink. So let's look at the blade here. They say I think it's a five inch blade. Yeah, um, about four and a quarter of working blade edge and then a five inch total blade. We do have a portion right here uh, kind of above like the choil that is not really usable. Handle. Uh, we're looking at what five, four and four and three quarters at the pommel. You don't say, hey, I like SOG too, buddy. So that's kind of the, uh, as far as measurements, let's get a, a weight on this. Because 
I like to actually just demonstrate and kind of go through it with you so we're experiencing this together. I'm not, I'm out of school, so I don't like doing homework and writing down a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we're looking at 6.4. Okay, that's without the sheath. Essentially, with the sheath, we're looking at 8.8. .8. Eight point nine. So, for what you're getting, which is a full tang steel knife, that's a that's a good weight. It's not heavy at all for what you're getting. This is a damn sturdy bitch. Let me tell you, this thing's a workhorse. It's going to do whatever you need it to do. You got uh, kind of like a little swedge here at the top. You have a, a nice thick profile on the blade, but but not, it's, hey. But not too thick, you know, what you're working with here. So you can have some really good slicing action. as well as being effective at pretty much anything, really. I mean, stabbing, slicing, chopping. It's like a stone wash, two-tone satin finish that we have. Look at the beautiful geometry of the blade here. I just love, I just love this blade. It's like a drop point, kind of a false edge up here on top. Again, I kind of wish they would have had the blade actually go all the way to the handle here so that you had some more cutting edge. You can put your thumb in here, but ladies and gentlemen, you want to be careful because this is, your, your finger's getting really close. So it'll bite you if you let it. You got some jimping up at the top, up at the top of the uh, spine here, back of the, the blade and into the handle. Not too aggressive, but it's, I mean, it's secure. It gives you, I mean, you feel like you're locked in here. So that's, it's really nice traction. With that type of steel, um, I mean, it, this is the CPM S35 VN steel and then the whole blade. You can tell. I mean, this thing, you could be stabbing. I've stabbed stuff, cut stuff. I've uh, batoned small pieces of wood when I was actually getting uh, building fires many times. Easy to clean, wipe off, wash off, food prep, get tip control. I like the underbelly here. Have the way that it's shaped, non-aggressive, smooth edges. So when you're holding this knife, it's very smooth in your hand. There's nothing that's biting or poking you in any way. The ergonomics are just beautiful. Look at this. I mean, seriously. You had me at the first wink and the first uh, little passing by when I saw you. Oh, pillar. What a thriller. A poet and didn't know it. I'm not going to keep going on and on, guys. There's a bunch of comedians out of work in here. I'm trying to be funny. So, yeah, nice grip. These are a um, a canvas micarta handle. Now, the great thing about this handle, too, how it's sandwich pancaked on the outside of the full tang that goes all the way to the end here. You have these uh, luscious, awesome, bodacious handles of... Uh, the micarta, canvas micarta. So I've gotten it wet many times. I mean, I've whether it's rain, snow, this thing does not get slippery and want to move out of your hand because the scales are perfect. They give you texture and grip. Um, gloves, not a problem. Look at the size. So when I lock in my finger under this choil, you can see how we have this kind of milled out or cut down, layered. 
So we wrap right in here. The rest of the fingers follow behind. I have some of the pommel that sticks out here. So we're ready for striking or opening barrels, cans, thumping it, whatever you may need to use a pommel for. Very aggressive. Some jimping right here. A lot of this jimping on the very end of this is going to be so we can re flip this bad boy around. If you look, the handle, flip around, put our thumb on this, the pommel. This gives us full control of the blade. We're able to stab, push, strike, and have a, with our finger, thumb on the bottom, that gives us our leverage so that we can keep it tucked in and then we could use it that way if need be. If it was some type of a tactical situation, tactical is to me a situation, not the naming of a tactical sunglasses, tactical knife. It's a tactical use situation. So yes, this can be used tactical. That means that your life or someone else's life is endangered. That to me is a tactical situation. You're a first responder. You're a man in blue. You're a man in green. You're put into a position where you're cutting someone out of a car or you are doing some activity where someone could be seriously injured and you need to help them. You need to rescue them. That is a tactical environment and situation. That's a use. So with that being said, you have full control by putting your thumb, locking it here on the jimping, on the pommel. You have your fingers in multiple positioning that you could have it in. You also have this spine and it locks right into your palm, at least for me. Now, even if you had smaller hands or a little bigger, I think this is going to fit most people. I mean, it's going to be comfortable in most type hands because it's a little thinner. It's not super fat, but it's just... Feels naughty in your hand in a good way. So again, that jumping at the top keeps you locked in. You've got the strength, your finger locking into this canvas micarta. You have this extra little finger choil here for guided control. Two screws here. I'm sure they go all the way through. Lock in uh, the handles to uh, the, the end of the handle here or the... the uh, that goes through your handles, the steel here. Now, it does have a lanyard hole here. The way I would use this is have a long leather band. That way, when I have this in my hand, I can have that leather band around my wrist. That way, if I'm hacking or doing some type of work, it would keep it to where if I let go, it would if not, I wouldn't drop my knife. So that is something that I have on some of my fixed blades. This particular little loop, this is a sentimental thing. Hi, how what do you think of this knife review? Okay, um, no, but this is sentimental to me. So I just kind of have this looped on here for no other reason, really, Not no, nothing functional. But this is your lanyard hole. I think on this type of a knife, very, very fitting and, and it's good where it's at. It fits in well with this knife. So I just, the overall strength of this knife and the way it looks is just amazing. The fit and finish, it's going to do what you need it to do, guys. It's between, I think, around 200, 220, something like that. Not super expensive, but not cheap or inexpensive. This is, you're getting what you pay for. This is a badass knife. Now, the sheath, love it. This is a nice, thin, beautiful style sheath. You go in, you're locked in, it pops into place. You're not going anywhere. This doesn't rattle, it doesn't move, doesn't shake and bake, doesn't do anything but what it's supposed to do, which is secure your knife. I drop this in my pocket or my rucksack. I take it where I need to go. I grab it, carry it. I can do whatever I want with this sheath. I love it. Now, the only thing which doesn't affect the knife at all that I don't, I'm not a big fan of. 
You know, I'm going to be real with you and give you my opinion. These tack locks, I don't like them. In fact, I hate them. A few reasons. One, they just seem to jab me and poke me when I put them on the sheath here and I put it around my belt. I've tried different positions, but it is kind of wide, you know. So it's kind of bulky and it's all plasticky. So this tends to poke me whenever I'm trying to position it. Tried it scout carry. I know it locks, but I was having some problems where this was actually just opening up on me because I was working and moving around a lot. And I think that this was actually sliding by my stomach or my waist kind of pushing on it or moving. And I had a couple of times where this actually popped off and my knife fell on the ground. And I, so I'm not a big fan of this. I don't use this attachment. I actually want to get a couple of straps and put on here with like the snaps so that I could slide it on my belt, kind of like a scout carry and then snap it and have those loops around here. Like I think they're nylon or something. So I would try that. Other than that, this is awesome to just keep it in my pocket. It's not too long for me to actually slide this in my front pocket or back pocket or my uh, rucksack in the side. Then I can just always access and pull it out and I'm good to go. We're going to put it to work. Slice and dice. And this thing, uh, very sharp. It's been sharpened a couple of times. But the edge on this is just wicked sharp. It'll split hairs on you. This blade grind is beautiful. Again, I've done all kinds of work with this thing. If you're looking for a fixed blade, a name you can trust that's great steel, especially if you're looking for something that's maybe uh, made in the United States, this is a good knife right here. Geometry's great. The handles are good. The pommel is well designed, gives you some extra, extra meat down here at the bottom. Options for different things. So, guys, I love it. I appreciate your time that you're watching this. Hopefully you haven't fell asleep. On my channel, I'm going to be bringing more boxing, unboxings, more reviews slash... Um, show and tell type deals where I just kind of show you and I tell you what I think about it. Again, I'm an amateur. I don't have any like type of a degree to stand up here and be like, I'm an expert in this other than I've carried knives for a long time and I've used them for lots of different reasons. And so I just like to tell you what I think and feel when I have a knife in my hand and let you look at it and maybe help you in your knife journey going forward. Guys, also, there's a lot of people that have mental illness or they're sick, scars that we can't see. Some we can. You just don't know who you're reaching out to, even one person saving a life or helping another person. I'm someone that no matter who you are, I'm a team player. It's the way I was brought and taught and raised. It's what I did when I was in the military. I'm a team player. I'm going to drag your ass with me. I'm going to push you and tell you all the things that you're capable of doing. I'm not going to hold you back telling you that you can't do something because I believe in you. You're good enough. So when you look at yourself, don't believe all the crap that media, books, and magazines, and everything tells us that everyone's handsome and everybody has these wonderful things. And then you look at yourself and you think, oh man, I, you know. I can't do this. I can't. Yes, you can. We got a lot of work to do in our lives. And unfortunately, our lives are never long enough. We're on borrowed time, guys. Make it happen. I believe in you. Thank you for all the support. I can't even tell you how much love I felt today. And it's doing nothing but growing, guys. I appreciate it. Remember our pets. Remember our vets. Pets, unconditional love for us. They're always there. Vets, they threw it all on the line to serve this country and to make sure that we have freedoms every day, guys. And um, I'll be coming at you soon with another video. Stay sharp, my friends. This is Scott. I'm out.